What is up guys, Johnny here and I'm here today with some tips to get you guys started in Shadowgun Legends. So first of all, what is this game guys? I've been playing this game for a day or two. Uh, it is an MMO, a sci-fi MMO and you guys know me, I love RPG games. I like creating my characters, leveling up and uh, grading my skills and stuff. Uh, this game guys is gonna be huge, it's already big. Just came out two days ago but just to give you guys an idea. They had 1.5 million players pre-registered for this game and in the first couple hours they had 100,000 uh, players downloading this game on Android only and it's out on iOS. Someone confirmed earlier today on my Discord. So uh, yeah, definitely out and uh, this game's got potential guys to be probably the biggest MMO on mobile. Uh, graphics are very nice, gameplay is good so far and uh, there's like 200 single player missions so it is pretty big. All right, so let's get started, guys. So first of all, customization, okay? When you start the game, as soon as you upload the game, they will uh, ask you to create your character. And I was so anxious to, <laughs> I was so anxious to start the game, I randomly <laughs> created my character. So look at this dumb dude with the, like the red face and uh, blonde curly hair, blonde beard. Like seriously, guys. <laughs> I don't want to say I regret this, but I could have done better for sure. All right, so maybe first tip is take the time to create your character because after you started, I'm not sure if you can go back and change it. So if you know, please tell me in the comments because I need to know if I can go back and change uh, my character customization. I wouldn't mind for real. Uh, I might have to buy a, a custom skin for my face now or a helmet or something. But anyways, customization, uh, there's a lot of options. You can be a dude or a girl and uh, yeah, a lot of options, okay? All right, next up is uh, check out the option, guys, because you can customize your controls in the options. Uh, it's on the top left corner, by the way. And by default, it's on auto fire. So I played like uh, an hour of this game without even knowing you can turn auto fire off. Just click on it. So you're going to have a button to fire. Uh, it can be helpful. It's very easier to play on auto fire if you're new to these kinds of games because the controls are pretty hard and it's take a while to, to get used to. But auto fire off for better or more advanced players. Uh, double tap for iron sight because you I, uh, <laughs> I did play a whole hour without knowing that also. Uh, you can have a button instead of double tap to go iron sight and aim better. Uh, so if you prefer to click on a button or just double tap on your weapon, it will go and aim down sight. Uh, aim sensitivity and stuff, it was pretty high I thought. I had some difficulties controlling my uh, my aiming, it was pretty bad. I turned down the sensitivity a lot and I think it feels a lot better now. So don't uh, be afraid to go in the options and, and try some stuff guys because it will definitely help you guys with the gameplay. All right, next thing we want to talk about is about spending money in these mobile games, guys, because some games can be so expensive uh, and free to play games uh, sometimes feel more than like pay to win games. And you feel like if you're a free to play player, you don't or you cannot compete with the money, guys. But this game is 100 percent free. And the only money you're going to spend if you want to spend is on cosmetics like skins, and colors for your uh, your weapons and your gear like you can buy spray paint you can buy a lot of stuff uh, I'll show you real quick but you can go on Pedro's legendary and check out this guy he's got a lot of stuff for sale but definitely skins look at the cat the cat bundle is gonna have uh, a couple sticker stickers to put on your gear uh, and the cat helmet Damn, this will fix my face for sure. Uh, you got a lion back also. This this thing's pretty sick. Uh, a lion hugging you. But yeah, the offers will change here and there. You can only buy these with gold and you can only get gold uh, with real money so far. But like I said, uh, I even if you're free to play, you, you will still get some, uh, some cosmetics to drop in missions. Uh, you will get spray paint, a lot of common stuff you can drop in missions. So you can still customize your character without spending money but like i would advise if you're going to spend money uh go on go on the shop here i did i did spend five bucks because i wanted to but 
it doesn't matter if you spend five dollars or a hundred dollars you get the same thing okay on your first purchase you don't see it anymore but on your first purchase you're gonna unlock 80 extra slots in your inventory your inventory is where you're gonna um, store your uh your weapons and your 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 gear but as you can see it's pretty empty because anytime i get extra gear i go and sell it but look i got a bunch of paint uh, I might want to save that for later when I get to max level and I got max level gear and then use my paint on my best gear because right now you level up so fast. Anytime you get new gear, you're going to sell your old gear, to get some cash and stuff. Uh, no use keeping your low level gear for real, but I think later in the game you might run out of space, but like it's up to you guys. But like I said, it doesn't matter if you spend $5 or $100, you get the same bonus pack at the start and then the rest is just gold you get gold okay and then you like you get some of these uh strong box crates and then if you look okay these crates can only un unlock uh can only be unlocked with uh keys and these keys you can only buy with gold so far i don't know if the developers have any plans for the future but these things will take uh take some room in your inventory so just a quick tip guys uh, if you get these crates in missions, if you're 100% sure you're never going to spend any money in this game, you might want to leave these boxes on the floor. And if you pick them up by mistake, you can go in your backpack and drop them on the floor. So at least they will not uh, clog up your inventory, okay? But some of these crates, you don't have a choice. You will get them as a reward in missions. So you will get them and they will be there forever. You cannot drop them. You cannot sell them. So maybe if someday in the game you get ways to get uh, gold in uh, mission rewards or something, then you can buy keys and un unlock these crates. But like I say, it's not pay to win because it's only cosmetics. And you don't get legendaries. It's like 9% chance of epics. Uh, and it's all the same, okay? So, but yeah, it doesn't make your character stronger. It just It's just for the looks, okay? So you can be free to play and get the same stuff as everyone else that put money in the game. So if that's holding you for playing some mobile games, this is definitely not a problem in this one. So when you start the game, they will uh, give you a couple of missions. And the whole point of these early missions is uh, go there, see this guy, see this guy. So they will uh, send you here and there to unlock all the, uh, the merchants and all the spots in the hub. That's the start of the game when you're not in a mission. Also, these guys are going to give you side missions. Uh, the mission control dude here is going to give you the main missions and then that's about it guys you go uh go ahead start playing some missions uh when you complete your missions go back to see the guys and claim your rewards they're gonna give you gear they're gonna give you weapon experience and fame uh it seems like the only way to level up right now the only way to gain xp is completing missions okay you when you play pvp and raids and stuff you gain uh like loots uh, you gain some um, some fame and stuff, but you don't gain XP, so you're not gonna level up. Uh, in PvP, everyone is the same level, so so far uh, it seems pretty fair and it's still fun to play. Uh, but then, yeah, I suggest you play the campaign at first, so that's how you're gonna level up. Then when you level up, you, you unlock all the stuff, like the PvP, different PvP modes. As I can show you right now, I'm only level 9. Like I said, I played less than 10 hours i think in this game but this is the pvp and different areas will unlock uh as you level up so at the start you can only do like 1v1 duels and 4v4 ascendancy then when you get level 5 i think you unlock the first co-op mission it's like a raid and it seems to be a great place to get good loot they drop a lot of stuff uh and then another uh, thing we'll unlock at level 10 level 15 and level 20. i think the max level is 20 right now uh but yeah so the best thing to do at the start i guess is just play the campaign play missions 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 and then you level up unlock everything and then you're gonna have fun uh farming because there's no point farming if you're level five because you're gonna drop level five weapons okay so if you drop a very rare weapon but it's level five you're never gonna use it later when you're level 20 okay uh, so i think the best way to go is get to max level and then start farming loot and farming gear and farming weapons i think that's it for real guys uh just if you at least try this game it's free to play free to download if you like it go ahead level up your character and then join the fun with pvp action 
uh join my discord i will put the link in the description if you're looking for some partners making some friends in the game uh i created a page on my discord just for this game so definitely i will be looking for some rating partners so i hope i'll see you guys i will be working on on some more uh guides for this game so make sure you subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications and i'll be back soon thanks for watching guys